Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you about how to use the trial version of TCEPs. First of all, you can go to www.t-biznetwork.com and click on TCEPs, or just go to www.tceps.com, and this will be the home page, and click on the Downloads link. That'll take you to a downloads page that tells you about the downloads and has a form to fill out. Now, you can fill out all the information you want, but all we really need is your email address. So at least fill out your email address. And then click on Take Me to Download page. That takes you to our downloads page that lets you download the Windows version or the Mac version. And there's two Mac versions. One is for uh, Intel-based Mac processors. One is for PowerPC-based Mac processors. And you can also download the manuals from this page in five different languages. Now, the manuals come with your main download. In fact, the downloads include all five languages of the program. But it's nice to have the manual handy to refer to to tell you more about how to install it. Now, if you're upgrading from TCEPs, one to TCEPs 2, you do it here, and if you're upgrading from Fast Films to TCEPs 2.0, you do it here also. And you simply click on Download Now. This brings up your screen. If you're a PC user, the download is a standard executable Windows file. If you're a Mac user, the download is a typical Mac installer file. Now you save these files to your computer and then you find them and hopefully you save them where you know you can find them and then you double click on the installer and run the installer. You should take time before you install the program and watch some of the training videos because there are excellent videos on installation on both Mac and PC, and if nothing else, at least watch the installation videos, they're very short, and watch the TCEPs Quick Start videos, part one and part two. These really walk you through how the program works. Now when you open Photoshop, Photoshop will bring up what's called a NAG window, and this NAG window has the logo and tells you that you're using a trial version of TCEPs. Now to try the program for 20 days, you simply click on the Try button. Now it may ask you to approve the Try button uh, three or four times as it tries to load various parts of the plugin. You only click on the Authorize button once you've actually paid for the program, because if you click on the Authorize button, that brings up a window that gives you a series of weird uh, words that you email in and then we give you back more weird words and unlock you. But if you're in just the trial mode, you continue to click on the try button when you run the routine for the 20 days. Now, if you've never had TCEPs installed before, when you get to Photoshop and open up the Actions palette, it has the default actions in Photoshop. But again, this is covered in detail in installation videos. But the next step is to click on the little upper arrow in the Actions palette, come down to Replace Actions, and TCEPs has made a new folder on your hard disk called TCEPs, and in there is an actions palette, and you have a variety of actions that you can load. You load the action that is of the language of your choice, and if you're on a power PC on the Mac side, running up to Windows CS, you would load the action that says CS. If you're on an Intel-based Mac computer or on a Windows-based computer, you load the action that is for your language and the action may load in what's called unbutton mode. It looks like this. The action must be in button mode. And again, this is all covered in the installation videos. Make sure and watch those and watch the quick start videos and have fun with TCEPs, the world's number one automated color separation program for screen printers.